research on amino acid chemistry on the glutamate receptors. Um, my mentor is Iana Rostelova, and um, I work in Albert Einstein College of Medicine. And amino acid chemistry is the staining of a section of our tissues. So in this case, we use um, brain tissues from rats. <coughs> So we use the antibody MGLUR1 in order to stain the sections of the brain that contain the metabolic. The metabolic um, glutamate receptors. So this um, this is located in the um, in the dentary gyrus of the hippocampus. So what we're comparing was the estrogen treated and the non-treated control rats. So what we did was um, we actually stained um, estrogen treated rats and the um, non-treated, which was the controls. So instead of estrogen, um, we used oil. And this is the hippocampus the pentulous area, and this is the Dante gyrus, which is the light blue area right here. The materials that were used were this um, citric buffer, BSA, NGS, Titron X100, MGLUR1 subunit primary antibody, TBS, which is a cleaning agent, anti-rabbit secondary antibody, DAB, um, AB complex and wall plates. So the procedure was from day one. Uh, we used um, sections of the brain that were already pre-sliced and stored. So we're, they were in the freezer. So what we did was um, we transferred them into new uh, wall plates and we washed it with PBS just in case um, anything uh, got um, contaminated or any other substances were in there, three, three times, ten times each. So they were all cleaned out. Next, um, they were put uh, incubated for 30 minutes at 80 degrees Celsius in the citrate buffer. And then they were cooled down uh, at room temperature for 10 minutes. So then the slides were washed again three times with PBS for 10 minutes each. And the reason we did that was um, we didn't want the citrate buffer into uh, in the um, in the wall plates because that could contaminate and mess up the um, the actual um, staining of the section. Next, the blocking solution was um, used for 90 minutes, and then finally the sections were placed in the primary antibody and then diluted in the blocking solution and left at on the shaker at 4 degrees Celsius for two days. So after two days, we um, washed the sections with PBS three times, and then the sections were incubated <coughs> with the secondary <coughs> antibody diluted in the blocking solution. Next, the three washes with PBS for 10 minutes, and then we incubated the AB complex for one hour and then we used PBS for 10 minutes each um, I mean we washed the section with PBS three times for 10 minutes each and then we used DAB which is very toxic and the thing with DAB is um, if you want if you want accurate um, staining you have to be very um, careful because the amount, like even 30 seconds could affect the staining and it could differentiate the staining from, say, the top part of the wall plate to the bottom, bottom part. So then the, um, the sections were mounted on the um, gelatinized slides and examined under the microscope for staining. Okay. Some of the difficulties were that the sections were very delicate and like you have to be very careful because even the stroke of um, the brushes that we used um, to make the slides um, straight 
we could uh, pass the slides themselves. And like when we looked at uh, look at the slides uh, under the microscope, you could actually see like the holes in the sections that were made by the paintbrush. And um, it was very important to um, make sure that the sections of the brain were all um, were in water or some kind of solution at all times. Because um, if if they weren't in half a minute, the slide uh, the slides could dry out, and that could result in not having a positive stain. And as I mentioned before, the DAV is very critical. The time has to be very accurate. We wanted um, to make sure that all the slides were um, equally stained, and we wanted to um, have the oil injection controls and the estrogen injected um, animals have a distinctive um, stain. The results were um, the staining showed characteristic of MGLUR1 subunit expression, which was identified within the fibers. There was also um, differences in the expression of the MGLUR1 subunit of the uh, metabolic glutamate receptors. So um, this could also be from uh, from us using um, for a frozen um, section instead of fresh ones. So that uh, we were um, going to investigate that one. Um, some of the things that I did was um, it did not work. So I had to repeat it um, so to make sure that all the staining did actually um, occur. Because this is very important. Because without the staining, you can't really tell like the actual MLGLUR1 um, antibody in the hippocampus. Another problem was um, that some, uh, some of the slides had um, non-specific staining. So that was um, needed to be looked into more. And the conclusion was um, I'm actually doing that this year. Um, I'm actually scanning um, the section because we use the same antibody. Um, Thank you. 